Buenos tardes from day 11 on board the Piano Iona, when today we are in the sunny Spanish port of Cadiz. Now I'm pretty sure that I managed to burn my legs yesterday uh, because when I went to bed yesterday night, my legs were boiling hot. I mean like radiating heat like two leg-shaped hot water bottles, which kind of led to the issue when I was trying to go to sleep because I kind of wanted my legs to be out of the duvet um, to keep them cool, but my top was kind of getting a bit chilly and I kind of wanted the duvet on top of that. And it led to me sleeping in what is probably the most strangest yoga position you'd ever have in your life, trying to conform my body so, so that my I could have the duvet over the top. I had my legs somehow both sticking out, um, which would probably would have looked very strange. And I'm glad it isn't included on the video. But that was kind of the struggles that I had yesterday. So this morning, when I went to do my sunbathing session, I made sure that I lotioned up my legs. And inevitably, I, I left them in the shade most of the time because they started to hurt again. Uh, but they've kind of settled down a lot, uh, which is good. So that shows you that you should wear lotion. The rest of my body is fine, though. That's the strange thing. It's only my legs. Um, it must be kind of a, a British thing. I guess. So yeah, today we are docked in the port of Cadiz, uh, which is the last Spanish port we have on this cruise before arriving at Portugal tomorrow. Um, and the weather's been absolutely fantastic. A little bit of cloud, but mostly sun, and more importantly, no rain. So I think it's time we sort of went out and explored this beautiful place and um, see what happens, I guess. <laughs> but first, we're going to have to get some food, and then we're going to go and explore. And the good thing about this port is that it's actually very close to the town, so there won't be a long walk to go. So it reminds me a lot of um, Rotterdam in that way. You're kind of in the in the heart the heart of the place, so that's pretty good. So um, let's go see what it looks like from off the ship. Uh, I don't have a lot of time at the moment. I did plan to come on the ship uh, to give me enough time to see the sail away of the Ada Stella, uh, which is due to go at five o'clock. But when I got back to the terminal, I realized that there was some free Wi-Fi. So <laughs> I got distracted by that, uh, messaging everyone, catching up, making sure that everyone knows that I'm okay. And I'm a bit out of breath because I had to run from deck four, three, I think it was deck three, up to deck 10 to the front of the ship where my cabin is. And now I'm going to have to go to the back of the ship and up to see the ship leave. So we'll talk about everything in a minute. We've got to get there because it'll be going any minute. Uh, so we need to get up there and capture that. So let's watch them sail away. Then it won't be long till we go. So we'll probably do that and then we'll catch up after that. So I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>
All right, so it's time for some change of plans because the weather outside has turned quite quickly, actually. The wind is picking up and it's just started to rain as well. Um, I'll just show you outside as well. The Ada Stella uh, just beginning to leave. It's somewhere, somewhere back there. Um, but we're not going to film the sail away in the normal way that we do um, because of obviously the weather. Um, and I can't really film it from the balcony as I normally do uh, because of the wind and everything. And it's definitely going to blow my phone over or blow it overboard or something, which is a really ideal. Oh, the captain's doing his announcement thing. Wait a minute. Hang on. So on the bridge, we are just dotting the I's and crossing the T's and our departure checklist. And then in the order to cast off as we set sail for our next port of call, Lisbon in Portugal. Once we've dropped our harbour pilots off, we then have a distance of 251 nautical miles to travel to Lisbon. Very much a pedal to the metal, full speed run. And our route will take us in a west northwesterly direction initially. And then on rounding Cape St. Vincent, we'll alter to the north, transiting the coast of Portugal prior to our arrival at the mouth of the River Tecus, along which Lisbon is located. Looking ahead to tomorrow in Lisbon, the forecasters are predicting a change in the weather, and indeed you have probably seen the black cow clouds rolling in as we speak. To that end, we can expect a mostly overcast day with the odd shower, and temperatures reaching a high of 12 degrees Celsius, that's 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, a little reminder that we will be putting the ship's clocks back by one hour in the wee small hours of tomorrow morning, so please don't forget to adjust your clocks and watches prior to retiring to the land of God tonight. You'll probably see that it is starting to rain. <sighs> oh dear. So yeah, that was it. I don't really know who he thinks he is. Uh, he interrupted me, but I can't remember what I was saying now. Uh, I think it was something to do with the, the sail away. So we're going to film the sail away from inside through the balcony door. Now, I'm not sure how that's going to work because obviously I think these are tinted slightly, but it's literally the only way I can really do it. So we're going to do it that way and hopefully it turns out okay. All right, well, that is going to bring us to the end of day 11 on board the Piano Iona. I realized we never really had a chance to speak about Cadiz. So uh, basically, it's it's a lovely place. I and mean, there was a lot of like monuments and stuff about to look at, sort of architecture. Uh, where the ship docks, it sort of drops you straight into like the town center. It was very busy, um, but it is a wonderful place. And there was a nice sort of park area um, across the road from the terminal, uh, which was quite nice uh, to go to. Of course, that is our last port of call in Spain. We will now not be returned to Spain as we will find ourselves in Lisbon tomorrow. Now, unfortunately, the weather for tomorrow isn't looking too good. And I can already feel 
the ship kind of moving around a bit. Obviously, we've had a bit of rain and that lightning storm, which was a nice surprise. So I was basically filming some parts of the ship and in the corner of my eye, I saw a little flash. And I was like, oh, but it's one of those ones you're like, did I just imagine it? Is this kind of my brain playing tricks on me? So I got the camera and I focused it. I started recording and there it was, a lightning storm at sea. I'm not sure if I've seen a lightning storm at sea before and hopefully I captured it well. I'm going to have to review the footage, uh, but that was pretty cool. So yeah, Lisbon tomorrow, our last port of call before we make our way back to Southampton. Now, I have a feeling that we've kind of reached the end of the sun for this holiday. I feel like it's going to get colder and colder as we go towards the Atlantic and then back up north towards England. It's probably not a terrible thing because I think I'm at the stage now where I'm beginning to burn. <laughs> I think that my body's dealt with all the, all the sun as much as it can and it's now kind of being a bit overloaded. Um, so I know my legs are quite sore. My fingers are a bit as well. I don't know if they're a little bit burnt. Um, so it's probably for the best that we're kind of reaching the end of the sun. For now, anyway, we're going to want some in a couple months' time. But for now, we're probably at that point. But yeah, that brings us to the end of day 11. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be in Lisbon, as I think I've said a few times now. I don't know why I keep repeating that. But tomorrow, we will be in Lisbon. <laughs> we'll be joined by the Ada Stella. So the ship that left here uh, just before we did will be joining us in Lisbon. Kind of seems like a waste of time. Should have really, you know, shared a taxi or something and kind of went up together. But there you go. That's how it goes. And probably get a bit of rain as well, but that's fine. I mean, the, the weather on this holiday has been exceptional. I can't complain at all. Up until the point, actually, ironically, was when I got the Wi-Fi and I'd, I'd done a post about how good the weather was and after that it's just gone terrible <laughs> but there you go that is that's just how it goes sometimes you know you can't control the weather as much as the cruise lines would probably like to and i guess the passengers as well uh, but you know that's just one of those things it's definitely a lot warmer than it is in the uk which is kind of what we're going for right well i better make sure as well to change my clocks because the clocks are going back is it back or is it? It must be back, yeah, because that's. Yeah, the sheep's clocks were put back one hour at 2 a.m. this morning. Excellent. An extra hour in bed, always good. Or getting up an hour earlier is probably more realistically what it is.